Welcome back, everyone. This is Thomas Triple T time with another new bullish crypto analysis. Before we dig in, at any time during this video, when you feel value has been added, feel free to smash the like, ring my bell, hit subscribe, or leave your thoughts in the comments below. I would appreciate it. Thanks. Let's dig in and take a look at Bitcoin. Again, this is for edutainment only and uh, not to be taken as financial advice. The crypto market looks predominantly green today. Bitcoin, um, this chart was taken just before I did this, um, uh, typed up the content. But um, Bitcoin was at 39K uh, roughly, but it's at, it went up slightly. It's uh, now at 39.1, almost 0.2K. Its dominance is at 42.5%. Uh, uh, Ethereum is at 2.6K at 17.78%. Uh, and um, we got um, mostly greens and then uh, Luna down slightly at 89.88. Um, but remember, it had a pretty de r nice recent rally. AVAX is down uh, slightly. Uh, it's at 72.09. Um, it's down 0.67. Um, Mana's down also. Leo's down. Uni's down. But yeah, it's uh, overall pretty green. So let's dive into the chart. This is um, a trading view on the uh, daily chart. I uh, reviewed this yesterday. Not a lot has changed, but uh, it's worthy of an update because um, we had slight changes. Uh, BTC is currently in the bullish um, daily. Uh, I'm sorry. BTC's uh, current bullish daily candle there's a typo in here or a missing word change that for a second here there we go uh, BTC, BTC's current uh, bullish white candle here continues to consolidate inside this range if you look on the day on uh, the hourly chart you see the candle just pretty much going sideways uh, the macro and um, the geopolitical environment hasn't changed much, so it's holding steady. Um, BTC is currently at 39.1K, as mentioned in the uh, heat map. Uh, it's below the 50-day moving average, this pinkish salmon line here. And notice that line was descending rapidly, but it's trending sideways now, it's flattening out. And it's also, um, the current count is also below the basis line or the middle line of the um, Bollinger Band. It's, um, it's, it'll use those two lines as um, resistance. But it's currently resisting against this line right here, the ascending triangle resistance, D17. And uh, it's using this uh, higher, uh, higher lows slash ascending triangle support as support and just bouncing right in the middle. But as you know, uh, this tip is getting smaller and smaller. Sooner it's going to break up or down. And we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, shortly. Uh, it's also riding this horizontal red line here. And that red line represents the highest traded volume at this price. So in this range right here, um, that price level is the highest trading volume. So it's going to hang here for a little bit unless something significant changes. Uh, further support below is uh, we have this line right here, 36.5K. And then we also have the um, uh, 35K right here. 36.5K is there, 35K is right here. And But before that, I think it'll hit the uh, bottom of the Bollinger Band first. But that's quite a ways to go. Uh, volume right here, this current day, uh, daily volume here is significantly lower than if you look at these past seven days. It's been trending up seven days in a row, but the current one is uh, significantly lower. And it has a tendency to do that when it consolidates, so that's not surprising. After a big move and during consolidation, it starts to um, uh, have lower volume. Uh, down below in the indicators, the white J line of the this line right here 
um, of the KDJ flipped upward. It was trending down. It flipped upward slightly from 21.3 to 28.1. Um, the the uh, top here is at roughly 80, bottom here is at 20, so it's still near the bottom uh, range. And it's uh, heading uh, back up towards uh, towards the uh, blue K and the red D lines. It's um, The pattern is, is uh, because the white line is underneath the other two, it's still bearish, but because it's flipping back upward, it's bullish trending. That's why I got a bear and a bull here. On the MACD, uh, the white MACD line continues to slope slightly down from negative 334 to negative 375 and prints the seventh reddish short candle. When, uh, not candle, <laughs> uh, histogram bar. When the hist histogram bar are short like this, that just means the distance between the white line and the red line is really small. And we'll magnify that so you can see it here. Right here, it's trending down, but you see the distance. The closer the white line gets to the red line, the smaller the histogram bars. And that just shows that it, it could potentially flip to the other side because it's just the difference is so uh, small. Let's go back. And I gave that a bear um, because this is a lagging indicator, even though things could be moving um, in the uh, short term, bullish, this is still lagging behind. So it gets a bear. Down below, the red RSI line tilts slightly up. You see that it flattened out here and it's tilting slightly up from 46.07 to 47.16. I gave that a crab even though it's tilting uh, slightly up. It's more crab and sideways. The aqua CVD line here also started to um, flip to the uh, uh, up side uh, with a slight uh, upward slope but more like it's crabbing sideways it went from 1,801,587 to 1,800,000 to 1,800,000 71 and then it gets a crab there too same thing with the uh, white momentum indicator the mom this line right here it was trending down sharply and then just uh, bounce and then flip back up it went from negative 5,643 to negative 4,822, and that also gets a crab. But I also want to note that all three are trending up slightly. So that is bullish trending um, if you combine them together. Um, so if it continues on this trajectory, if they continue to uh, on this trajectories, then they that it could be very bullish. So in summary, um, BTC will likely chop inside this uh, ascending triangle. That's a bullish ascending triangle inside here. Uh, and uh, it's going to go between 39.4K to uh, 38.5K, which is um, this support level down here on the uh, ascending triangle. And um, there's more chance that it will break up above resistance than there are uh, to break below. That's just based on statistics of what it's been doing in the previous couple weeks here. The um, But after con some consolidation, um, that's when it might break to the upside with some caveats. And that is, um, one, there is currently a lot of um, short, high, high leverage short, uh, short uh, liquidations. And that is betting the price will go down. And when it does that, it builds up. Last time I checked, it was roughly 4.5 uh, billion uh, difference between shorts and longs, favoring shorts. So when it builds up like that, smart money could take the opposite uh, counter position. And um, they uh, take also the high leverage position, but they can move the spot market because they have the capital to do that. And they, they win on these uh, perpetual or futures uh, part. That's that's one that could move the price up, um, and it's more likely to do that because uh, that's also an added an added element. What you also want to know is that in my previous tweet, I cited that there was um, smart money took uh, I think over over four thousand BTC borrow over four thousand BTC and betting to go short. 
That's a lot of BTC. So if they were to win that position, they would need to push the price way down, causing um, causing a a long liquidation, if you uh, if you will, uh, or um, a capitulation event, and um, that could happen. So this chart and uh, the analysis right here basically is if things remain the same. Okay, if things remain the same, this is what would happen. However, with a G, uh, like a str strange or um, challenging geopolitical or um, macro environment, all this doesn't mean anything. <laughs> so, and also if there was uh, some market influence and manipulation, yeah, none of this matters. Um, so keep an eye out for those potential moves. Uh, move to the upside to, to do a short squeeze, um, a move to the downside if smart money uh, were to influence the market to uh, capitulate it so they can win on their short position. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and it added value for you. If it did, feel free to uh, smash the like, ring my bell, hit subscribe. But before you do that, I need to show you the uh, heat map. I think that's important. Sorry about that, almost forgot. Here's the current heat map. Um, not a lot of uh, big, sell levels up here a couple you may want to be mindful about they're slightly whitish is this level right here at 39.8.9 k make it 40k and this one right here at 39.6.5 right, right there they're pretty small but they're whitish enough that you might want to pay attention to them um, down below we continue to have we got a couple light ones here i'm going to skip them but we continue to have the 35k wall here, the buy wall here, and we have the uh, 32k buy wall here, 30k buy wall, and 29k buy wall, and a, a slight one down here at 28. There's probably another one down here at 25. Yeah, 25 is here still. So, a couple of levels that you want to be mindful about, and um, that's it. Thanks. I'll see you in the next video today, maybe. I'm gonna go play volleyball and. Uh, I spent some time with friends and uh, my girlfriend. Peace.